Good morning. It's Monday, October the 17th, about 7.05. And the sun's getting ready to come up. I wouldn't be up, but the, the phone uh, got a text message from Verizon woke me up. I think my cold is a little worse this morning. Don't feel quite as good. Well, I'm a second too late. Larry just went to Hardy's in the red truck. He had to dump off garbage and his alley refrigerator freezer, too. We still have to clean out the big freezer. I'm seeing it, but I'm not believing it. He's up there with a chainsaw on that roof. What is it with men and their lack of common sense? Let's see. He could slip and fall. The chainsaw could slip. The log could swing and hit him. The roof could give way. Probably not likely, but it could. He can lose his balance and fall off and break something. And I can't do a thing to stop him. If that had given way when he put his hand on it, it would have thrown him off balance. I'm just standing here praying and waiting for the accident to happen. Back is going to be hurting so much you won't be able to sleep. You ready to come down? What? You ready to come down? No. You don't have to do it all in one day. Well, gotta get it before it rain. It's not supposed to rain. He's going to have leg cramps from being on the ladder, besides his backache. Looks like he pulled the pool cover back up out of the water. Now he's at it again. Now he's throwing the logs over the fence. Told him they can lay there till we get some more help, and he said everybody's got their own problems. There's the pieces that Larry cut off and threw down. That's still in good shape back there. There's the hole. 
from the inside. And there's a cracked bean right there. And that one over there is broke. But everything else in here seems to be okay. Yeah. Well, Not everything. Here's where the rafters came down. Huh? Now he's going to try and cut the base of the tree so it'll get shorter and fall off. Said he was going to cut one more piece and see what it does. We were discussing if it'll roll onto the other roof. I don't think it's, if it comes out, it ain't going to be hard enough to hurt. Because see, see, it's on that log and it's just, you're right, it's going to start rolling. I'm going to have to tie it off somewhere. What if you just tied it right there in the middle and tied it to a tree here? So it couldn't go the other way. Uh, let me study it. I mean, if you tied it right there below the roof over to this tree, would that keep it from going the other way if it was tight? It'd have to be tight. You got any rope that yeah. strong? That and I tie another one from right there. I ain't got none that long. How many hunks did you cut off it the bottom? It didn't come down anymore, did it? About four or five. Four or five? Yeah. Could you tell it wasn't coming down? It didn't look like it. It was kind of moving a little, but it didn't seem to go down. Well, if I could get a little bit closer to the other thing without going on there, I, I could cut a little bit more up there. The more it sticks out, the more damage it's going to do. But let me see if I can find some rope. I'm going to quit anyway, I think. For today? Yeah, I guess. It's about 20 after 7, and there's a little bit of glow left from the sunset. Um, Larry didn't... Uh, work on the building anymore after we came in. There's always tomorrow. Hope you had a good day. Good night. God bless.